Welcome in guys, my name is Beans, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to make your readings 100% true and accurate. I was recently asked this question on one of my lives and the thing about that is you can't really make it 100% true and accurate. And the reason to this is because there are very few things um, in this world, in this universe that are like fixed, that are like always going to be the same, never changing, just this is what it is and that is how it's going to be. Most things are very fluid, ever moving, ever changing and this is because people have thoughts and feelings, right? People's minds change depending on what you say, depending on what you do, depending on how you act. It can change how things go. So things can be very close to 100% true and accurate, but them being always 100% true and accurate is very, very slim and not very likely. And this is not to say that like in any one giving reading, it's not going to be 100% true. This is more like if you do five readings, right? Four of those readings can be super spot on, just super connected, super resonating. Those people come out and they're like, oh my gosh, wow. You basically just like said exactly what they said or like read the situation exactly for what it was. But this last reading that you do, right? Um, let's say you tell someone, hey, you're gonna meet someone. Um, they're probably gonna cause you some trouble. You're probably gonna get into some arguments, right? And it's gonna be later in the week, you know, like Friday, Saturday. You meet this person, but you meet them the following week, Monday, Tuesday, right? It wasn't that you were wrong. It's that there are some details about that that got a little bit mixed up, that got a little bit tr mistranslated. And what this really is, is that when you do tarot, when you do divination, you're very oftentimes not given the whole piece of the puzzle, right? You're given little jigsaw pieces, and then you're expected to try and find ways to make these pieces fit together to make a whole picture, you know? And sometimes you accidentally make these pieces fit together in a way that's not supposed to fit. It's like, oh, that wasn't exactly how that was supposed to go because you were missing other pieces of the story. So it's very common to like get slight things wrong, um, to mismatch days or times or events or like colors of shirts and things like that. So that is why it's not very likely to get it 100% true and accurate, but there are ways to strengthen the accuracy of your tarot readings and just learn to trust your intuition more. If you do a tarot reading and it's just 100% wrong where it's like none of these things made much sense or they didn't really connect with it or none of it came out the way it was supposed to then there are some problems then that's a whole different situation where it's like maybe we just don't connect with them maybe we're not supposed to be doing readings for them at all you know maybe something's off with enough us um if mentally we're not doing well if emotionally we're a little bit off if physically we haven't taken care of ourselves it can affect the accuracy of our readings right which is why it's so important for when if you're doing divination if you're doing any kind of spiritual stuff you take care of yourself you make sure that you are nurturing yourself that you are giving yourself enough time and energy and rest um because it can be very draining and it can affect the outcomes of how you interpret these readings. So usually if you get everything just completely 100% wrong, you should take a break. You should take a moment, pause, reflect, meditate, uh, cleanse, protect, those types of things. It could also be uh, you're not as connected with your deck. If you get multiple readings just super off, it's not very valid, it just is really weird it could be like, all right, we just need to stop doing tarot readings for a while, or we need to have a new deck, or we need to talk to our ancestors and spirit guides, because in that case, something something weird is going on, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Um, and you're not gonna find the answer in doing more tarot readings in that case. One of the best ways to uh, strengthen the accuracy 
of your tarot readings is to strengthen your intuition and there are a couple of different ways to strengthen your intuition one of my favorite is to meditate right meditate connect with the divine because as you get to feel the divine energy as you get to feel energy in general you get to be like okay I'm learning the difference between different energies you know this energy feels this way that energy feels this way and being able to recognize the difference in those feelings like okay I can feel the energy of when my spirit guides specifically are speaking to me I can feel the energy of when my anxiety is creeping in because that's a specific feeling and I know that that means my anxiety is kicking in right or the feeling of this is my gut this is my intuition because those things will all typically feel very different so realizing and understanding okay what am I feeling right now what does this feeling mean and getting in touch with yourself super helpful super good um and you can learn when okay this feeling is anxiety push that aside we need intuition this feeling is my spirit guide take that soak it in so that's incredibly helpful and you typically can strengthen that through meditation or just being more mindful in general you know mindful practices really good really helpful um, another thing that helps strengthen intuition surprisingly is exercise going for a walk working out um, it gets the blood flowing which makes your intuition stronger and just practice using your intuition even for small things even just like testing your intuition on a small daily basis be like okay um, today my intuition tells me that I'm going to run into this person or that this is going to happen and then just seeing how that goes and that'll strengthen your intuition honestly uh, there's a really good book called psychic witch that has lots of great practices and exercises that also can help you practice and strengthen your intuition but those are some great ways one of the best ways to strengthen your connection with the deck will inevitably that will inevitably strengthen your connection and accuracy in tarot readings is just spending time with your deck like honing in on that connection and part of that is just going through the deck sitting with it looking at the pictures and looking at the different vibes that the pictures give you be like okay i'm looking at this card right now how do i feel what are the colors that i see what are the vibes that i'm getting what does my intuition say and just realizing and recognizing those feelings are going to go a long way when you do a reading and those familiar feelings come back up another thing is like just shuffling your deck holding your deck, like infusing your energy with your deck also just generally tends to help. Sleeping with your deck um, on your bed, meditating with your decks. You could do a specific reading to just like get to know your tarot deck better. You could perform a ritual if you wanted to, to strengthen that connection, but there are simpler ways, less energy that, you know, don't require so much work. But those are some of the simple things to do. It's also very useful is if you use the deck regularly, you know, because then you get associated with its energy. It gets associated with your energy. It's easier to read the cards. It's easier to interpret it. So just doing like daily card pulls um, or, or just doing readings for other people, you know, really helps strengthening that bond, that connection. Um, and it will inevitably make your readings a lot more accurate and a lot more true. But like I said, um, there is no such thing as 100% true and accurate readings. But those are all things that can help. So I really hope this helped you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please share them with me. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions.